This is Banana Slug News for the week of June 12, 2007. I'm Francisco Nunez. And I'm Kane Lynch. Kane? Yes, Francisco? Let's do some frickin' news. back. It's the end of the academic year, and we all know what that means. That's right, Kane. June 16th marks the end of the world as foretold by the ancient Olmec calendar. UCSC students... Francisco, have you been getting stoned and reading Wikipedia again? Sorry, Kane. I guess I'm just nervous, you know, about the future. Oh, Francisco, there's, there's nothing to worry about at all. Nothing. That is, unless you're a student. As the school year comes to a close, students have a lot to look forward to. Seeing old friends, rocking out with new ones, and homelessness? What the story is, BSN's resident renaissance ruffian Nick Fry. Nick? The following contains dramatic reenactments of events which actually happened. But we may not be able to replicate the way that they actually happened. So viewer discretion is advised for uh, UCSC staff and faculty and children. Thank you. This is Nick Fry reporting for Banana Slug News in front of one of UCSC's many dorms, where trouble is brewing. For the 2007-2008 academic year, the University of California at Santa Cruz has accepted more students than has ever in its plus 40 year history. Both staff and students are feeling the crunch trying to find housing for these students. Golly G Willikers, UCSC was fun this year, and I'm really looking forward to summer. But where am I going to live next year? Many students have found themselves uttering the same panic-stricken phrase. Good thing I have housing for next year. <gasps> I'm denied housing, but I'm guaranteed. I am very upset. I do not have a house, and I've been trying to look off campus, but the campus jerks up there are not letting me live on campus. Sorry, I'm very upset. For me, I am not guaranteed housing, so I have to go off campus, and it's been extra difficult just because there's so many students looking off campus so all the places that I've gone to and checked out there's usually 30, 40, 50 different uh, groups of people looking for that same place so even though I might be trying to be as most excellent as I can there's always someone that beats me. I got an email saying I was denied housing but I'm guaranteed aren't I? Well, yes, you are guaranteed, but unfortunately, we can't offer you housing for the coming year. Is there a method to this madness, or is this just institutionalized racism? There is a method to the madness, but I have no control over it, and neither do you. We admit more students than we can possibly house, and now too many of them have accepted our admission. So, there's nothing that you or I can do about it, but you can try and uh, find a place to live off campus. Uh, there, there are plenty. Trust me. I, I live off campus, for example. Well, I really wanted to live on campus this next year, but unfortunately, because of the housing crisis, I was unable to get a room here in the apartments. I was really pissed because, okay, I turned the application three minutes late, but granted, I thought I was going to have a place to live, and I did it. So I was forced to move off, out to find a place to live on campus. I don't even have With the dormitories and the apartments full, and most off-campus housing already taken up by upperclassmen, some of us may have to rough it. Reporting for BSN, this is Nick Fry. Back to you. An immigration bill that would have allowed millions of now illegal immigrants to stay in the country legally was shot down by the Senate last Thursday by a margin of 45 to 50. 
Well, the plan was supported by President Bush and by the majority of Democrats. Disputes over proposed amendments resulted in a bill that left both parties unsatisfied. Will a new version of the bill see the light of day? Solamente tiempo puede decir. In this week's technology roundup, biodiesel. As gas prices continue to climb, this alternative fuel is becoming increasingly popular with SC residents. With the story is Noah Shamo. Noah, gas it up. For years, Americans have been looking for a way to become less dependent on oil. Technologies such as the ill-fated electric car, and more recently the hybrid, have explored the boundaries of fossil fuel usage. In recent years, however, biodiesel, a new and extremely efficient technology, has emerged that has the potential to replace fossil fuels permanently. With the ever-increasing price of gasoline, many are turning to alternative fuel sources. One such alternative is biodiesel, a fuel that is used in diesel-based vehicles but is made from organic material instead of fossil fuels. This simplicity in many ways makes biodiesel more environmentally friendly than regular gasoline. The environmental effects, however, are only one aspect of what makes biodiesel a better fuel source than gasoline. Not only this, biodiesel cars have better fuel economy. Uh, my car gets better gas mileage on biodiesel. Um, sometimes I switch back and forth depending on where I am. Sometimes there isn't always biodiesel. But when I go back on biodiesel, I always get better gas mileage. As well as better resale value. <coughs> The availability of diesel passenger cars, and as you can tell if you go on Craigslist and search for them, they don't drop in value for like three, four years. Normally you drive a car off the lot, and as soon as you take it off the lot, it goes down by 8% value. And with diesel cars, they're not. Although a smart choice for the consumer, it is unlikely that biodiesel will replace oil as the main source of fuel in the United uh, States. So the way biodiesel is made now from vegetable oil, uh, the, it's called the feedstocks feedstock for biodiesel is vegetable oil, and the uh, amount of vegetable oil that's produced in the United States isn't enough to feed the need for all the diesel fuel consumed. So perhaps if they start making it from algae, uh, which is supposed to produce a lot more gallonage per acre, uh, then maybe there will be enough uh, to fuel all the diesel vehicles in the United States, but as of right now, biodiesel is not the be-all end-all, it's not the absolute best way we could possibly fuel our vehicles, but right now it's definitely better than petroleum diesel, which yeah. is the other alternative. Despite this, biodiesel still remains a smart choice for the consumer. This is Noah Shamo reporting for Banana Slug News. Back to you in the studio.